everybody. Welcome to my heart healthy cooking series. Today we are going to make ginger tea. It is not necessarily focused on heart, but it actually boosts your entire immunity. Be it flu season or right now there's corona pandemic going on. Uh, it helps to uh, fight off different types of acute and chronic diseases. And it is very customizable. All my recipes are. So we'll get started. Uh, I'm going to put two cups of water. It could be the regular measuring cup or whatever cup you decide you want to use. Little bit less or more doesn't matter. So we're going to heat two cups of water. I have some grated ginger over here. Um, you can use ginger or you can use a little bit of ginger powder. So both will be okay. Okay. And these are some tulsi leaves. Uh, it's also called holy basil. Uh, it's a cousin of basil actually. And it is endowed with many medicinal properties. And, you know, I've heard people use it to um, help with cancer. And, you know, I'm sure if you investigate it a little bit more in Ayurveda, you will actually find out that it has many, many medicinal properties. And there are two types of uh, tulsi leaves. Uh, one of them is called Rama tulsi and another one is called the Sham tulsi. So one is the lighter green color and one is the dark green color. I have actually both the varieties growing in my backyard and I use both of them. But yes, uh, the dark kind is supposed to be more uh, medicinal uh, in nature. But you know, whatever you can lay your hands on. So we put about a tablespoon of tulsi leaves also. A mixture um, of cloves, black pepper and cardamom uh, seeds. And it's roughly one is to one is to one proportion. I just grind it and I keep it, I put it in my tea. It's in India, we use it as tea masala. So when you're making your tea, you can put this. So this is about one eighth teaspoon of this mixture. You can also put cinnamon um, in, in your mixture if you like it. Um, and uh, any kind of whole uh, spices are really, really good. So we jumpstart our morning with this. Um, now even my kids, since the corona pandemic started, my kids also uh, drink this because uh, we believe that um, this also will help everybody. So um, one eight teaspoon of black salt. Um, I add this for flavor. <laughs> we like it. So uh, one eight teaspoon of turmeric powder. Um, this also, I mean, this is very popular. Everyone knows that turmeric has antibacterial properties. It has um, anti-cancer properties. Uh, it um, is good for your skin, for your immune system. So a lot and lot of benefit from that. So I add that and um, I will add about, there, these are two one eight teaspoons, so about one fourth of a teaspoon of just regular white salt. Uh, now, if you don't like uh, savory flavors, um, say you have younger kids and you want a sweet flavor, so instead of black salt and white salt, you can also add um, sugar to it, a little bit of sugar or jaggery. Um, it's like kind of brown sugar that we use in India. Uh, or you can just use brown sugar. So whatever you want to add, you can just change the flavor according to your liking. And uh, uh, at the end of this, I'll let this boil. So after it boils a little bit, then I'm going to um, add a splash of um, fresh lemon uh, before we drink it. And I'll show you how it looks. So while my tea is boiling, and I added a lid so that it boils a little faster. I do have some idlis. Um, these are sort of steamed rice cakes uh, that are also cooking on the side. I do have some uh, chickpea lentils that are roasting in my oven uh, because I'm going to make a nice chutney. 
um, for a healthy Indian breakfast. Um, you can get all these uh, batters for uh, idli uh, and these are easily available in the Indian stores. They are, they are pre-made. All you need to do is put it in this. So here I have this thing boiling, my tea. Okay, I'm going to just give it a little bit of a stir. There you go. So my tea is boiled and I got some fresh lemons from my backyard. I'm just going to cut this like this. And I'm going to give it one more little stir. And be careful about your counter. So if you have white countertops, make sure you don't uh, spill any tea over there because it has turmeric and it does stain on your clothes or your countertop. So I just strained it in two cups but it's uh, the quantity is enough to serve four small cups because when I measured we measured with the big cup and it's okay to have those strands of uh, ginger and the tulsi leaves holy basil leaves um, in the cup itself because we just drink it at the end um, because I believe that this is too healthy and none, none of it should be wasted so my daughters just love to see the color change and they insist that it should be in a glass cup so that they can see this beautiful change in color. I hope you guys are able to see it. You see that? And of course, if you want it more tangy, you add more. If not, you can add less. And your tea is ready. Um, have this, usually all these things are good if you have it on an empty stomach in the morning. So um, we use this, like I said, to jumpstart our daily routine. Now, initially my kids resisted, but now they actually want to drink it because they feel like, you know, they are healthy and they can, you know, face all the viruses in the world. All right, my tea is ready and I'm ready for the day too. So this has a nice tangy flavor. It has the flavor from the ginger, which is, which is a little spicy. And um, the turmeric and all those whole spices also add a lot of flavor. So it is actually very tasty. It may take a little bit of acclimatizing, but I just love it. You can see all the leaves and the ginger over here so at the end of this when you finish the tea you can either just gulp it down or you can just bite into it both ways it's really very tasty mm. wow and i do really hope that you try this wonderful tea and uh, it keeps you and your family happy and healthy and ready to face the world. If you like it, please subscribe to my channel and uh, I would really appreciate your comments or feedback and let me know what was your experience with this tea. Thanks, bye.